Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'll be discussing about Office 365. So Office 365 gives you the opportunity to actually use of Microsoft Office programs like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneDrive, Outlook, Teams from the web. So you can actually use any web browser to actually get to your Office um, applications. But you can also install the Office program from your Office 365. You can download Office and install it on your desktop. So first of all, you, should, you will definitely need a license, for example, like the Office 365 E5, E3 license, E1, or even the F1 license. For example, the F1 license gives you the opportunity to use the Office application only from the web browser so you cannot use it on your desktop or laptop so if you try to install it on your laptop or even if you're able to install it on your laptop you try to sign in you're going to get an error message so let me first of all try to sign in to office 365 so here i'm going to enter my email address so that's my email address here you can see that's my email address and then i'm going to click next so here i'm going to enter my password then I'm going to just sign in. So let me just try to save my information on this device. Let me just click yes. So if you log into office.com, here you can see we have the option to actually install Office right now on this device. So I can actually just click and then say include Outlook, OneDrive for business, Word, Excel. But I can also go for the other install options. So when I go for the other install option, you can see it's taking me to a new browser here under my account where I can actually select what I want to install. So it says here, you can see it says install office of view apps and device. So let me just click view apps and device. So it says view apps and device. You see, for example, here I have the option now to actually install the 60 bit, 64 bit version of Office, or we can actually select the 32 bit version. But mind you, at this moment, Microsoft always recommends you to always install a 64 bit version of Office. And here we have the option to select a different language than the standard language which is actually selected at the moment. And if you install Office, this is what you're going to get. Teams, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, presentation, and more. So I can just click install. And right now you can see that we actually try to download the office.setup. So what I can actually do is I can actually go to the folder where this software has been downloaded right now. And here you can see that the office setup. But mind you, to install Office on your device, you need to have the admin right to do that. If not, you'll be asked to provide your admin credentials. So let me just double click on Office Setup. And then click Yes. So you can see it says we are getting things ready. So here I can decide to also, let me just, let, let's leave that to start, get, start installing. And if I go back to my Microsoft Office Home, here you can see we have the Office 365. If I click here on the app launcher, you can see we have all the different apps we can use. Here you can see we have our different applications. So for example, we have our Outlook, OneDrive, Word, Excel, and more. But we also have the all apps. So if I click on the all apps, you can see we have all the different apps we can actually use from Office. But what I want to actually show you is the following. If I go to the right hand side of my screen, here you can see I have my name. It says the account manager for Kelvin Johnson. So under the account manager here, we, you see we say we have the view account or my Office profile. So first of all, let me just click on the view account. You can see I just right click I, I just click on that it's good it's going to open on a different browser and also i'm going to open my office profile so if i go to my account here you can see we have my account information so this is actually a lot of information we have about my account first of all you can see we have the general overview the general overview actually gives me a general overview of for example my kelvin johnson security information password settings organization devices and my signing and here you can see we have uh, office apps and subscription and mind you our uh, apps say could not start office installation we are sorry but we could not start your office installation another installation is in progress so well it seems that another installation done on installing online installation was in progress so what i need to do right now again is i will need to actually double click 
this and then try to install again so let's just let's just allow the installation to take place in the background so if i go to under my security info here is trying to open under my sign in trying to open a new browser so here you can see i actually configured a multi-factor authenticator so i need to actually just confirm that i'm the owner of this device um i'm the owner of this account so it's going to send me a code to my mobile device whereby i will ne now need to enter that code which was sent to me so the following code was sent to me actually this is five eight seven two three two so well it's just a one-time code which i can use to verify my account and then now i can actually sign in so all the security info it's going to give me you can see that it's going to give me actually the information here's my telephone number well i'm going to block it my telephone number so that not everyone can have access to my telephone number here you can see we can add other methods which we can actually use to verify ourselves and also we can actually delete this or we can actually change this phone number here it says if you have lost your device you have the option to sign out everywhere which means that if i click sign out everywhere it's going to sign me out from my laptop desktop if i'm if i'm using office or my mobile device it's also going to sign me out from my mobile devices and if i go to my organization i just hold on for some seconds here you can see that this account this um, office account belongs to kelv global so the kelv global.com here you can see it says sign in and if i here i have the option to go to settings and privacy but let me go to my sign ins and let me just show you some extra information so under my sign in you can see it's actually going to give you your recent activities so if for example you are suspecting that someone is trying to actually get access to your device or someone is trying to sign in with your credentials you can go to my sign in and actually check where did that person or where you've signed on in the past you can see that i, I live in belgium so which means that my location is actually going to be around belgium which says Antwerp, which is Antwerp area, and also you can see your IP address definitely. And also, if I scroll down, if I scroll down, you can see we have more options. For example, you can see all the successful signing, and you can see here it says unsuccessful. And if I scroll down, you can see it says unsuccessful. So here you can actually monitor when or who and which location the person try to sign. You can see it says the location is actually going to be. And to happen so if i'm seeing a different location for example like the united states um let me say um, um new york or london or for example or uh, accra in ghana i'll be thinking okay someone is actually trying to um hack my email address or hack my password and try to sign into my device so let me go back again to my account uh, to my signing and here if i go back again let me just go back again once more And I go to my let me go to settings and privacy here on our settings and privacy here you can see the display language which of course is English but if I just scroll down we can actually change the display language we are seeing so for example you want to see a different language than what you are seeing right now like this is actually in English I can actually change the display language and here if I just go there, you can see it says the preferred language language you understand and use to create and consume content we can actually add a different language and here you can see you see the regional format and also we can actually change the time zone at this moment i don't live in the united states or canada so here i can actually change the time zone and just search for let me see if i can see belgium or let me i think i need to look for brussels here we can need to look for brussels so i can actually select brussels as my time zone and then you can see the time zone has just changed to brussels and here we can also change the display language to a different language if for example i can decide to actually put let me just enter dutch i think i will need to enter the netherlands oh. Here you can see we can now select the Netherlands as our default language but i don't want to actually select that for now let me just leave that to display language for english 
so if i go let me see you can see that our office is still actually being installed at the, at the moment so let's just wait for this office to get microsoft office to get installed on our device so here you can see when i went to uh, my account here and i click um let me just click my switch organization here we can see we have view account and switch organization it takes me to the following it's called delve here you can see that this is my actually my email address this is my OneDrive, and you can see other people who are actually in my organization. And here we have uh, my analytic. If I click on my analytic, it's going to take me to a new browser. Here you can see it's going to give me welcome to my analytic, Kelvin Johnson. It's going to give me some actually some kind of um, a general overview of my focus my collaboration and my networking here you can see we have more information so i'm not going to go into details about this right now so let me go back again let's just wait for this installation to complete you can see so it says we are almost done in just a minute so if i go to my start menu here you can see we are seeing word excel powerpoint already and if i try to go to apps let me just go to apps and programs and future if we go to programs and future you can see today is the 23rd of, of december so you can see that the uh, microsoft 365 apps for enterprise just got installed on this device so there's a difference between office 2019 or office 2021 and the microsoft 365 apps apps for enterprise the difference is the following the microsoft 3 the office 2019 or the office 2021 is actually a one-time program you install on your device so it's also always going to be updated but the latest features is not going to be installed but the microsoft 365 apps you actually pay for a subscription because you pay for a subscription on a monthly basis compared to the office 2021 which you actually buy for just for example you can buy it for about 200 dollars or 150 dollars but for your office 365 you pay for a subscription like 35 dollars every single month you have the different license like the f1 e1 e3 and e5 so you can we, let me go back again you can see that it says the office just gets installed so if i so if i let me just for example let me try to click on word document and let's try to open document for the first time and i'm going to open this document here so it says hello kelvin welcome to office so right now because actually it says it's trying to sign in to activate office so i'm going to actually let me just click continue so i need to actually sign in to actually activate office if not you will not be able to use the complete features of microsoft office so let me just try to sign in and enter my password and i'm going to allow my organization to manage my device just hold on we register this device which organization so you can see it says all set here we go so if i click you can see now it's been registered with my name and let me just close that so if i go to file okay let me close that as well and i'm going to use office open sml format so if i go to file on a file and i go to account here you can see that this account this information is actually this device is registered under my name and the subscription i'm using also belongs to kelvin johnson if you are using office 2021 i also did a video on how to actually activate office 2021 using your office 365 license here you can see we can actually use our office 365 license we can also change the license if for example you do, you are um you you give you give this device to a different user and you can actually the user can actually change this um, is the license to his own license if he has the right license to use Office 365 apps. So let me just close this and let's try and configure Outlook on this device for the first time. Let me close Word document. If I go to my start menu and I search for Outlook. So I'm going to open Outlook. So here I'm going to actually set configure Outlook on this device for the first time. Okay, we need to actually confirm if this is the right email address. If this is not, if this is not the right email address, you just need to actually modify the email address. So let me just click continue. So it will actually try to add. You can see it's going to add a Microsoft 365 um, account. So here we just need to actually say set 
of Outlook Mobile on my mobile phone. I don't want to do that right now. So here we can actually add another email address if we want. But at this moment, I'm just done with that. Let me just click done. So it's trying to load my profile. Okay, here we go. You can see it says got it. So I, I want to show you something now. Huh? If, for example, let me just click that. So now, if you look what happened as the following. When I tried to actually register Office um, or Outlook, it didn't ask, ask me to provide my password. So what happened is because I've actually registered my account with Word document. So automatically, when you registered with Word document, it's going to actually configure a kind of a single sign-on. So every single apps, Microsoft Teams, OneDrive, probably maybe OneDrive may ask for your credentials, but your Teams and every other apps you try to open is going to be using uh, kind of a single sign-on on your device. So if I go to my start menu on my Windows 11 and I go to settings, so on our settings, if I go to account, on our account here, you can see we have my email and account. Under my email and account, you can see it says we have our work or school account. So let me just click this here. You can see that this is actually my work or school account, which is configured on this device, which means that every application I try to start right now is going to be actually kind of a single sign-on. And also, we also have uh, Teams. Let me just see. You can see we have our Microsoft Teams. So let me open Microsoft Teams on this device as well. So here you can see that the Microsoft Teams just gets started. But don't be confused. We have the Microsoft Teams here. You see we have the option called Sign In or Get the Microsoft Teams Work or School. So these are actually two kind of Microsoft Teams. So here if I click on the Sign In option here and I try to actually enter my email address. Let me just try to enter my work email address and see what happens. So if I enter my email address... And you can see that I can actually sign in. So which means with this, you need to use a Microsoft email account, not a, your work or school account. So, but if I enter my Hotmail account, let me enter my Hotmail account. And you can see that I'm able to actually, it's actually going to take me next to sign in. But let me just cancel that for now. But if I go to get Microsoft Teams, or work or school account so it's going to actually take me back to the microsoft i'm saying just stay with the instead english so right now it's going to take me to microsoft teams but it's, it seems as if the microsoft teams was not actually installed on this device so let me go to my apps and programs and future and because you know like the microsoft teams is actually installed in windows 11 by default but here you can see i'm not seeing the microsoft teams so let me go to my office programs and here you can see we have the teams so if i click on microsoft teams from my office.com and here we can actually also do that from the website of microsoft which gives me the option to actually download um, the teams for desktop but also from my teams here from my office 365.com from office.com i can actually download the microsoft teams and install it on this device so let's just wait for some seconds you can see it says just wait for some seconds for this to get started so here this is actually my microsoft teams from the web browser so to actually install microsoft teams what i need to do is if i go to click on the three dots options here you can see we have download the desktop app so let me just click on that so we should try to actually download the desktop apps on this device So if the installation just gets completed, what we can actually do is to just open the file or we can go to the browser where the file is um, downloaded. So let me just try to open the file and let's get the official work or school Microsoft Teams installed on this device. But it seems that during the installation of the Office 365, the Teams, Microsoft Teams was not actually installed along with it. It was just only the standard Microsoft Teams, which was, which actually, which is, it comes actually with Windows. Um, with Windows 11, you can see here we have the chat here. The chat. If I click on this chat here, let me just click on this chat and let me show you what is going to happen. You can see that it's trying to actually open Teams, but this, this Teams is you're going to only use your Hotmail account or .outlook account to actually get started and chat with that 
team and not with your work or school account so let's just wait for the microsoft teams to get installed you can see it's installing microsoft teams on this device so let's just wait for that installation to get completed so now the microsoft team just get installed and you can see it's actually started automatically without me signing in so if i go to this other microsoft team you can see now we now have two microsoft teams on this device so the other microsoft team is actually telling me to actually sign in to use that which of course you're going to use your kel your hotmail address or your dot out dot um outlook.com address and not your work or school account is definitely not going to work and here is my web browser and this is actually my um, teams on my device so if i go to my start menu and i type let me just type teams so here you can see we have two teams we can see we have the microsoft teams app or the microsoft teams work or school so if i go to my apps programs and future and do a refresh and you can see now we now have the microsoft teams installed on this device thank you very much for taking your time to watch this video this is the basis of the office 365 Com. And please, if you are still watching this video, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more IT videos. Videos. If you have any comments, you can always leave a comment in the comment section of this video, or you can also send me a personal email, and I'll reply to you as quick as possible. So please don't forget to join my subscribers to help me grow my channel, to encourage me to create more content like this. And if you think that you have any advice for me to actually improve, I'm always welcome for criticism you can always always criticize me and i tell you to give me the opportunity to improve thank you very much for taking your time to watch this video and bye